Smooth step, probably the most used function in shader programming. Understanding how smooth step function works will prove to be the great tool in your toolbox for your own shader adventures. So let's try to know the smooth step function inside out. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Digvijay Sigohil and today we will talk about smooth step, probably the most useful function in shader programming. This is not a platform specific video. Smooth step is available in both GLSL and HLSL. So whatever I'm going to say will apply to Godot, Unreal, Unity and other game engines which uses either of these shading languages. Okay, let's dive into it. Smooth step function always returns the value between 0 and 1 and it takes three parameters. An input value, edge 0, in Unity it's called edge 1 and in Unreal it's called min and edge 1. Again in Unity it's called edge 2 and in Unreal it's called max. If our input value is less than edge 0, the smooth step function will return 0. If our input value is greater than edge 1, the smooth step function will return 1. And if the input value falls between edge 0 and edge 1, it will interpolate between 0 and 1 using hermit interpolation. Now let's try to visualize the smooth step function. Okay, I'm on a website called Desmos. I highly recommend it. It is very useful to visualize the maths. And we don't need to know the mathematical formula of the smooth step function because it is already defined in GLSL and HLSL. So let me just quickly plot it. Okay, so I've plotted the function. Imagine that we are feeding this x values as our input. This e0 is our edge 0 and e1 is our edge 1. If I say e0 equals 0 and e1 equals 1, so it will return 0 where our x values are less than 0. Returns 1 where our x values are greater than 1. And values that lies between 0 and 1 will be smoothly interpolated. And the smooth transition is hermit interpolation. Now let's feed 0 0.3 in E0 and 0 0.7 in E1. So everything till 0 0.3 will be 0. Then from 0 0.3 to 0 0.7 will be interpolated from 0 to 1. And after 0 0.7 everything will be 1. Now if I flip these values around, it will go from 1 to 0. So basically, smooth step is used to turn something on and off at specific points. 0 means off and 1 means on. But hey, that's just a theory, which includes a bunch of maths to be used in games. One might say that it's game math theory. Okay, so let's see how it works in a game engine. So I'm in Visual Shader Editor in Godot. Let's grab UVs. And our UVs has origin here and it goes to 1 1 here. Let's just use x values. So our x value is 0 here and it goes to 1 here. Let's feed it into smooth step. Now our edge 0 is 0 and edge 1 is 1. So our value will smoothly go from 0 to 1 here. Our UV's x value also goes from 0 to 1. But these two are not identical. And that's because our UV's x linearly goes from 0 to 1. While our smooth step smoothly goes from 0 to 1 using hermit interpolation. 
Now let me set the edge 0 to 0 0.3 and edge 1 to 0 0.7. So everything that is smaller than 0 0.3 will be 0. Then values that falls between these two edges will smoothly go from 0 to 1. And everything that is bigger than 0 0.7 will be 1. Now if I were to flip these edges around, we will get the result that is similar to our original smooth steps 1 minus operation. So if we feed greater value in edge 0, then if our input is greater than edge 0, it will return 0. And if the value is less than edge 1, it will return 1. Basically the values will be flipped. Now let's see one real life example. So I have this vertex displacement shader that will displace the Z value of our flag mesh to make it look like it is waving in the wind. If you want to know more about this shader, I have a video on it called Shader Introduction in Godot. Go check that out. Okay, now in our shader we have one issue that our flag mesh is not stuck to our flag pole. So to fix it, I will use, you guessed it, smooth step. So let me grab the UVs and I will use the X value and my flags UV.X goes from 0 to 1 in this direction. So I will take that X value and feed it into smooth step function. In the edge 1 let's put 0 0.5. So my smooth step will go from 0 to 1 till halfway and the rest will be all 1. Now I will multiply it with the displaced Z component. And now as you can see in the preview that till halfway, our sine waves will be smaller like it will attenuate. And beyond that, it will fully go from minus 1 to 1. Then I will use this multiply as the Z component. And boom, our flag is now sticking to the pole. And I also have a full control at which point the sine waves will attenuate. So yeah, that's smooth step function in a nutshell. Hope you now have a better understanding of its application and be more confident when using it on your own shaders. And that's pretty much the video. If you find the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Buy Cosmic Roads on Steam. If a precision platformer is not your cup of tea, then just spread the word. That's it from me and I will see you guys in the next one.